Okay, this is a restore on the um, Pioneer SX1280 I've got here. I've got a few pictures on my laptop here showing how bad it was. I don't know how good this is going to show up. But that's the bottom plate. Right there's the bottom plate. That's what how bad it looked in top. It was basically it looked like it had been sitting out in a barn forever. Pretty rough. And that's just from taking the back cover off right there and what's left inside of this thing. And that's one of the knobs. And anyway, it was pretty rough shape. Barn find. May as well have been in a literal barn. But anyway, I moved this laptop out of the way. This is the unit. It took a few months. Lots of time and effort. You can see on my other video, if you look, I've got a new power supply board in it. And I had to um, work on a, quite a bit of everything, but it's up and clean now. Right now I'm running FM. I've got the CD changer back there running into this. Tape one input at the moment. But anyway, this is a very nice example. It's got the little tab markers for your radio settings. They're just little slides. Of course, these slides were completely full of gunk and grime and dirt. But anyway, things all cleaned up nicely. I'm on C now, but some of these um, potentiometers and stuff had to detox about five or six times a piece. Especially even these phono end switches here, having all kinds of But everything's all up and working, and it's clean. It was, I did a little touch-up on some of these corners here. I don't have perfect matching touch-up paint. But I cleaned up quite a bit in there. There, I'm kind of proud of this one. It's a beauty. And if I turn this off, you can watch these watt meters. They have no out. Got it all balanced out. It calibrates at 180. Of course, that's a fixed input, but things definitely cranking out some power out of these big monsters. Got the adjustable for the phono in there on the phono one input. But anyway, beautiful unit. Very nice. Just glad it cleaned up and I was able to get it back up and going.